All right, so this is the Adobe Express homepage. This is what it looks like after you sign in. I am currently signed into my school account. From here, you can either come to these quick suggestions down here and choose video, or you can do this one up here and make a video. Either one will work. And from here, it will load up my workspace. This white rectangle is where the video will be um, displayed. If it's not inside the white box, it will not show up in the final movie. So make sure whatever you wanna add is here inside this white workspace. Down below, we have our timeline. The timeline is where you add movie clips, is where you add animations, graphics, your audio files like music or sound effects. So all that stuff gets added down here in the timeline. To add a scene, we just click this add a scene button to add more. So to get started, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to media in the left hand menu here. To add um, any kind of media, you can come here and choose either photos, videos, or audio. You can use their stock footage here and you can even search it. So like I'm doing an art video, so I might wanna search drawing to get some stock footage. And you can use the stock footage along with your um, actual recorded footage that you yourself produced or own. So if I find one I like, you just click it and now you see it's being added to our timeline. And now I'm gonna add a scene and I am gonna add my own video. So now I'm gonna hit upload from device. I'm gonna find my videos here on my computer and I am just gonna add one of my clips. And now we see that we have our own uh, video added to the movie. Now I can't see all of my timeline, so I'm having to use the scroll bar to do that. So what you can do is come over here and just reduce the size of uh, the timeline so that you can see it all or see most of it all at one time, okay? By default, I always toggle this show layer timing. I always toggle it on by default. And that way you just have more control over your scenes. Now, let's say I want to add a title screen. I'm gonna come over here to add scene again. Click add scene. And right now, you see that it has a deep dark outline around it. So we know that this empty clip is the one that's active. While it's active, I'm gonna click text. And I could use one of these templates that already exists if I like the style of one of them, but I'm just gonna hit add your text to do my own. And I'm just gonna type, this is my title. Okay. And if you don't like that font, it's very easy to come over here and just change that font to what you want it to be. You can also change the background color. So I could change this to a custom color. I actually want that at the beginning so I'm gonna come down here to my timeline click in the middle of this clip I want to move and start to drag it and it's that easy to reorder your clips screw up through your timeline by dragging your playhead to see how it's gonna look it's kind of like you're playing it in fast forward once you have your video files in there you may want to add music or sound effects I'm just gonna go over here to media once again and with the audio, the only thing that Adobe Express has is music. They don't have sound effects. So you might want to go to another site like Pixabay or somewhere else and find your sound effects. But once you have a sound effect downloaded to your computer, you can just find that sound effect, hit open, and that has been added. If you look to my timeline, you see that the sound effect, which is this, was added on my title screen. And that is not what I want. What I need to do is actually move this clip to the part where there is a pencil. I'm gonna take that now and I'm gonna slide it to where I want it to be. So now we can see. But the whole thing doesn't last the whole time. Let's take this and if you needed to, you can duplicate this. Now, when we get to the end of the clip, we can see that the sound effect goes past the end of the clip. So if I hover over this second um, sound effect clip, I get these retime handles that show up. So I can just click on that and slide it over to where I would like it to end. Now I have my title screen. And I feel like that title screen is too long. So let's go ahead and retime that one also. 
Oh, but look, when I read when I retime the first one, now my mute my, my sound effects are off. So remember to just go ahead and slide that over and fix that. Now, if you are on some uh, sound effects and you think they're too loud, you can just click on those sound effects and you will have this pop up menu on the, on the left and you can just turn down the volume of it. You can also just completely mute it. You can also with the audio add a voiceover. So if you want to do that, you can just come here, have your playhead where you like the voiceover to begin and hit record voiceover. I'm going to hit allow. This is just your browser asking if you can use the microphone with the browser. I'm going to hit allow this time. So I'm going to hit record. I'm just going to count me down. Hello, welcome. This is my title. Finish recording. Okay, so now you can see that I now have this. Hello, welcome. This is my title. The thing about doing audio in Adobe Express is that you cannot stack two different sounds together with the exception of a um, voiceover. Right here you can see that the voiceover and the sound effect, they are um, overlapping each other. Now if I go and try to add music, so let's go to audio and I'm just going to type in happy because that's kind of music I would like to have for this and find one that you think sounds good for you. And once you find one, just click and it adds it. Now, here's the bad thing. You see my music, I had a gap between my sound effect in the beginning of my movie. So my music got added, but once it hit that sound effect, it stopped. If I come over here, let's say I put it, put my playhead here over the pencil sound and I go back to the audio and I add that one again. No, I think it was this one. See, it overwrote the sound effect because you can't stack more than one sound at a time. It will not allow two sounds to exist in the same space with the exception of the voiceover. The only way around this is to do an empty, transparent video file with the sound in it and you can stack different videos on top of each other. If you want to resize a video, or crop a video, come to your workspace and click on that video clip and you'll get these flat handles for cropping and you'll get these circular uh, handles for resizing. You'll also get this arrow that can be spun around to rotate your video. You will get this menu here on the left. Now with that, you can flip it horizontally, you can flip it vertically. If the movie is small, you can hit fit video and it'll increase it. If the video is too big, fill video, fill video and it'll 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 resize it. Increase the speed over 100% to make it faster. If you need to cut out a certain piece, let's say I start here cuz I want it to go from the black screen to the zoomed out. So I'm going to find the place where I want it to start. I'm going to click on that active clip. Make sure the playhead is in the correct place. So I want it right, say about right here. And what you can do is hover over that clip. And if you hover over the clip at the end of the clip, you will get these three dots. You can click that for a pop-up menu or alternatively, you can just right click on your actual clip and you get the same thing. You can split this clip. So now I have two clips. I'm going to delete everything before then. You can see that it goes from the pencil to the black screen to the reveal. Let's say I want to stop it there and get rid of the rest. I'm just going to move my playhead where I want to make the cut. Right click, split, and I'm going to delete the rest of this. As you delete, you see that the music also deletes along with it. The music and the sound effects only stay if there's a video to connect it to. If you want to add transitions, in between each scene you have this plus sign. Hit the plus sign, add transition. There's not a lot of them, but I do like this dissolve. So you can hit the dissolve. You can change how fast or slow the dissolve goes by. 
And if you decide you don't like it, you can hit remove transition. If you like it a lot, you can apply to all scenes. And now between every single scene, you have that same dissolved transitions. You can come up here and you can type in your file name, what you like this movie to be called. I'm just gonna call this tester movie. This is being automatically saved to the cloud, which is why they have this little cloud icon here. You don't have to hit save from time to time or any of that. Anytime you make an edit, it automatically saves to the cloud for you. When you are done with your video, you're gonna come up here and you're gonna download. MP4 is the only option for video, but you can choose up to 4K for your um, video resolution. Hit download and that will save to your computer. And now you have a nice, simple video that you can use. Now, if you um, wanna get back to this, let's say you worked on it a little bit today and you want to come back to it later, just go to the Adobe Express homepage and you go to your stuff. And when you go to your stuff, you will see all of the um, videos that you have made. They're all here. So I believe that's all the basics of making a video with Adobe Express. It's very simple to use, very intuitive. Just get in there and get started. If you have any questions about how to use Adobe Express, please let me know what, what your questions are and I will do my best to answer those. In the meantime, thank you for watching and have a great day.